Just have to do a little shout out this morning to this guy for how amazing he is. He, I was outside doing my cardio and he comes out and asks me how long I was going to do cardio. I tell him how long and this is why. Because literally right when I was done, he comes out and says, your breakfast is ready. He takes good care of me. What are you doing over here? No way, what? Oh my God, it was the cutest thing ever last night. I put him to bed and I always say, night night, I love you. And last night he had laid his head down and I said, night night, I love you. And he popped his head up and he goes, night night. And he laid his head back down and he went, Oh my God, I'm gonna try and get a video of it today because it was hilarious. And then I did it, I told him to do it again and he did it again, it was so funny. Are you my little hippie baby? Drank down a Greenberry Shakeology, kind of like a pre-workout sort of, but I waited like 30 minutes before I actually am getting my workout started because I've been framing my workouts with carbohydrates and so basically what I want to do is before and after my workouts, that is when I want to be having most of the carbs for the day and the rest of the day I focus on protein and veggies as much as possible. So I had a Greenberry Shakeology about 30 minutes ago. I'm about to bust out chisel cardio for the first time. Should be interesting. Come on. Okay, so today is December 10th, so I'm 10 days in and the scale has stopped. I'm not gonna worry about it though because all I have to do is I need to make sure that my nutrition is on point. So I made sure that I did some meal prep today because when I'm setting myself up for success and I have those meals prepped and ready to go and I know that that's the food I get for the day, then I won't be uh, as tempted with other things. Not gonna lie, I had chicken wings the other night but I don't even regret it because it was excellent and I love wings. I'm gonna show you guys really quick though just some of the meals that I prepped up. These are so fast and easy. So let me show you what I got in my fridge. So I kinda just gave myself a little meal prep section. This is our outside fridge. We, we go through a lot of food here so we have extra fridges around here. So to just make it super easy and simple, I am eating the same thing for two days. I could have done more, but we just didn't quite have all the supplies. And so what I have here is one yellow, it's probably actually a little bit more than a yellow, in sweet potatoes for my carbs. I've got a bunch of asparagus. I don't worry about measuring that because it's a green vegetable. And I feel like for the most part, green vegetables are like a free food. You can eat as much as you want. And then I have three pieces of chicken tenderloins that Zach grilled. Notice I just, it's, it's simple. These were microwaved and then for 11 minutes I had three giant ones in the microwave. And then I put them in the oven to kind of bake them just a little bit because I think they taste better when they've been baked. These were baked for eight minutes and just to get them a little bit cooked and then th this was grilled. I don't think there's anything, any seasonings or anything on here, but I can add sauces later. So it's super simple and easy, nothing crazy fancy, and it didn't take very, very long at all. Meal variation number two, again, three wheels of the sweet potato, 
and a green for steamed broccoli. I just steam this in the microwave, put it in a dish with a tiny little bit of water with a lid on it, let it go in the microwave. It was perfect. Um, it, and then I can just put a little bit of salt on it. And again, the grilled chicken tenderloins, nothing fancy. My third meal option here is turkey meatloaf. So this is just ground turkey from Costco. And then there's a little bit of shredded up carrots in here. You can just buy the carrot shreds and then chop them up even more or you can put the carrots into a food processor and chop them up. And then there's also egg in here and a little bit of tapioca starch. I'm not big for like recipes, so if you want a recipe, I would check Pinterest. And again, the easy grilled asparagus. The reason why there's no sweet potato in this meal is because this uh, meatloaf has carrots and the tapioca starch in it. So it already has quite a bit of carbs, so I'm keeping those uh, to a minimum. And then last but not least is a really easy stew. So just a ton of veggies, whatever is in the fridge, put it together with some broth and some spices that you like, maybe a little bit of tomato paste, and then add a little bit of meat. This is like sirloin um, of some kind. We usually buy grass-fed. I'm gonna have a little bit. Um, good stuff. So this would be two days worth of meals plus my breakfast. So I've got two soups, two meatloafs, two of the chicken and asparagus, and then two of the chicken and broccoli. And then also for breakfast, I'm doing egg whites and oatmeal and I do my Shakeology as well. I probably won't even eat all this in one day, so this could maybe even be more like two and a half days worth of food. So that's the meal prep. I mean, I try to keep it as simple as possible. I don't make it anything like super complicated. I'm not getting into any complicated recipes because I think when you overcomplicate things, you're gonna feel so much more overwhelmed and it's gonna take you more time and you're not gonna wanna do it because it takes so much planning. So what I do is I just buy like three different protein choices. So I'll buy ground turkey, I'll buy, buy chicken tenderloin, and then I'll buy some kind of beef. Usually less beef than I buy with the chicken or the turkey. And then you just make a couple simple protein recipes with it. We've got the meatloaf, we've got the grilled chicken, and then we've got um, the soup, which was super easy to make. And then you want to pick out a couple of your green veggies that you love. I really, really love asparagus, and I like broccoli okay, so I just made a bunch of that up. Um, I use sweet potatoes for my carbohydrates so I just cooked up three of those that will last me personally like at least a week and then I get out a bunch of Tupperware containers and I just start filling them with a protein a green vegetable and a carbohydrate for almost all of them not I don't put um, I don't put the sweet potato in every single one of them so right now we're about to start chisel agility and I'm ready to do my workout because it's way too late in the day to be doing this right now I prefer my morning workouts much, much more. done with that workout I had a little bit of some steak some sweet potatoes and some asparagus so good I'm so full right now getting in shape isn't easy but you have to pick your hard like what is going to be harder for you you have to figure out what your pain points are so if your pain points are feeling horrible because a you have no energy B you do not feel sexy at all you um, you know you don't feel good in your own skin then you need to figure out how how much pain you feel from those things. And then compare that pain to the pain of having to eat healthy and having to do a workout for the day. Which is gonna be more painful to you in the long run? 
I know for myself, for a really long time, I struggled. I struggled really hard through um, after high school, through college. I did not know what I was doing. I was starving myself. I was over-exercising. I didn't know that it took me eating the right things and plenty of it. I don't, you know, it's not about under-eating. And, and it didn't, I didn't realize it had to do with lifting weights and making my body guess what's happening next, not being on the elliptical every single day for 30 minutes a day. I thought that was such an amazing feat that I did my 30 minutes a day every day. And it's like, no, because when I, when I look back on it, I, my body did not change when I was doing that. And I was skipping meals, I was starving myself, I was drinking beer every night, and I was binging when I would finally eat my food for the day. Later on in the afternoon, sometimes even in the evenings, I was completely overfilling myself with food and now it's totally the opposite. I eat all day long. I get made fun of for how much food I eat. I, um, I don't really drink anymore because I don't feel like I need to. I don't feel like I need to escape my reality. I don't feel like I need to escape what's happening in my life. I'm really stoked on what's happening in my life and I know that a huge part of that is because I am working out every day. And when I do work out, I'm not doing the same mundane things over and over again. And I'm definitely not sitting on an elliptical for 30 minutes a day and then calling it good and thinking that that's going to change my body because it doesn't. I'm changing it up. I'm making my body guess. I'm using weights. I'm not afraid to try out a new exercise. I'm not afraid to lift heavy weights because I know it's not going to make me bulk. I mean, unless you think this is bulking. I haven't. <laughs> I'm actually trying to build muscle and I can't. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an insight into where I've been, where I can relate to where you might be now, and, and how far I've come. So if you ever have any questions or anything, feel free to reach out to me. I love to give advice and to help people. And if there's any specific topics that you want to learn more about, I'd love to hear about it. Just send me a message on Facebook or you can email me at mommyandloveoffitness at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you guys. That's going to conclude this episode of 60 Days to Shredded. Thank you guys so much for watching this journey. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'd love some shares even if you really are enjoying this series and it's giving you some really great valuable information. Share it on your Facebook, whatever. I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day. Bye.